4060 Ti is the first 40 series GPU I can 100% say do not buy for mining and I will over why in depth down below. So let's break down why this is the case. The first problem is the memory bus. The 4060 Ti has a 128 bit GDR6 memory bus while the previous generation which is two years old now the 3060 Ti has a 256 memory bus. Um, what, what's going on NVIDIA? So that presents a problem for us. As you've seen from my last few videos, or if you've watched other crypto YouTubers who have tested a 4060 Ti, then you will know that this GPU is utter garbage when it comes to mining any memory algorithm. Like, for example, the 3060 non-Ti, yes, I said the 3060 non-Ti, hash is better than the 4060 Ti on ETC or any other memory coin. And again, going back to ETC, the 4060 Ti gets a measly 38 mega hash versus 60 to 63 on the 3060 Ti and the 3070. And again, to add to the insult, the 3060 non-Ti gets 47 mega hash. There is no reason that the current gen GPU mines worse than the previous gen on half of all mineable algorithms. Anything basically that uses the memory of the GPU. A, another issue that this causes, and I think it's an overlooked issue, is it has an issue that this will cause a problem with Zill. You should always be dual mining if you are mining a core or memory algorithm on any GPU. You need to make sure you enable Zill mining. If you don't, you are leaving 15 to 25 percent profits on the table. Personally, it's about 20 to 22 percent profits on my farm. That said, having a poor Zill yield is going to lower your overall profits, and I will show that down below. Now that we've talked about the negatives, I mean, it's a pretty big negative, but now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get to the positives. As you can see from my testing and the testing of others in previous videos, which I will link my video down below, and it's not hard to find any other YouTubers who have been testing the 4060 Ti, they all do great work. We will refer to hashrate.no's hashrate charts for the purpose of this video, and we will look at core algorithms. Uh, we're going to use RxD for this example at medium overclock settings, which are usually the most efficient, comparing a 4060 Ti which gets 786 mega hash to the 3070 which gets 689 mega hash which is a 13 percent improvement and versus the 3060 Ti which gets 573 mega hash for a 25 percent improvement so you're looking at your standard generational improvement in terms of core algorithms finally let's get to the price as we know crypto mining in a bear market ROII is not a thing that exists right now, which makes the price you pay for your mining GPUs more important than in the past bull runs when you were able to plan out when you could break even. At $400 USD, coming in at the same price as the 3060 Ti at launch, at least we can say the price didn't go up, so that's a positive. The issue is with this, unlike when the 3060 Ti were released, the used market is stock full of last GPUs that can be had for between twenty or two hundred forty dollars and to two hundred seventy dollars for the thirty sixty Ti and about three hundred dollars for the thirty seventy going off of eBay prices, which is something that everybody has easy access to and is quite simple to buy from. So armed with the above info, I am going to show you why you should not buy a forty sixty Ti for mining. So credit to T Swift for helping engage in this debate with me and helping to shift my opinion from the 40 Ti, 4060 Ti might be worth buying to 100% you should not buy this GPU for mining. So we're going to go over the following scenario which will help illustrate my point. We're going to say Miner A and Miner B and for this scenario we're going to assume that the 4060 Ti cost MSRP while the 3060 Ti can be had for about $250 which is what it's going, which is the average of the current prices going on eBay right now. So let's say Miner A only wants to buy new NVIDIA GPUs because AMD can be a pain to mine with and he wants a three year peace of mind warranty that buying new GPUs comes with. Whereas Miner B 
doesn't care about buying used GPUs and the potential problems that come with them and would just rather get the best bang for his buck and buy last gen hardware. So Miner A decided to spend $10,000 on 24 RTX 4060 Ti GPUs and Miner B decided to spend $6,000 to acquire 24 3060 Ti's. For this example, we're going to assume they both have the required hardware to run two 24 card rigs. So in the first example, what if in say the next few months the next big coin comes out and it is an ETH hash coin? We start, we start to see 2020 levels of profit again, which we actually briefly saw this past April, and it is a no-brainer to mine said coin. Well, your Miner A's investment of GPUs is going to get about 912 mega hash at 900 watts on the new ETH hash coin plus the same hash as Zill. Now, Miner B's 3060 Ti's are going to get 1,488 mega hash at 200 or 2,856 watts. So, 40% less up upfront investment for 42% more hash rate and basically the same efficiency. Now above is the worst case scenario. Now say in scenario number two, the next big coin is a SHA-512-256D algorithm like Radiant. And this example we'll call it RxD2. So we use hash rate dot nose examples, uh, hash rate numbers for this example. And say you mine RxD2 plus Zill because there is zero reason not to mine Zill. Miner A would be getting 18,864 mega hash on RxD2 and 912 mega hash on Zill versus Miner B who would be getting 1,300, I'm sorry, 13,752 mega hash on RxD2 and four, or 1,488 mega hash on Zill. So on the core algorithm, Miner A is getting 27% more hash than Miner, Z, than Miner B on RxD2, but paying 40% more in price since he spent $10,000 for his 24 4060 Ti's versus Miner B's $6,000 for his 24 3060 Ti's. And his efficiency numbers are about 11.56 on each 4060 Ti versus 10.0 on the 3060 Ti's. But Miner A is also getting 42% less hash rate on Zill versus Miner B. So let's take these numbers and dumb them down as simple as we can. So in this example, let's say that Miner B's 24 3060 Ti farm makes $6 a day on RxD2 and $2 a day on Zill for a total of $8 per day. And we're going to assume in the next bull run that Zill will be 25% of your profit. Miner A's 24 4060 Ti farm will make $7.62 on RxD2 since it's about 26% more efficient on core algorithms. However, it will only make $0.76 cents a day on Zill because of how much worse the 3060 Ti, the 4060 Ti is than the 3060 Ti on Zill for a total of $8.38 per day. So assuming you both bought both of these farms at their current market prices, Miner A will only make $0.38 cents more per day but will have an upfront cost of $10,000 versus Miner B who is only making $8 a day but only spent $6,000 on his GPUs. So you're looking at a $4,000 difference or 40% to only make 5% more per day in profit, which is absurd in my, my opinion. So when I was writing this script and while I was having this debate with T-Swift and some other miners who I very much respect their opinion, I was kind of on the fence that I was going to say that the 4060 Ti in certain cases would be worth buying. And after running these numbers and having the debate, I can honestly say that I cannot recommend in good conscience that anybody buys the 4060 Ti for mining. Even if you are insistent on buying the latest GPU with a warranty, 
and I'm going to be honest, use GPUs, you basically will know within the first 20 or 30 minutes of starting it up if it's a bad GPU and if there's problems that you need to take it back. And even if you buy a used GPU and it were to die some way through uh, mining, like say six months in, GPU repair has gone a long way and I will be doing some videos on that uh, soon, frankly. So again, I want to say and I want to reiterate that using these current examples that I just showed, the best case scenario and the worst case scenario, you should not buy a 4060 Ti for mining. I can't say that for sure for the other 40 series GPUs, but I can say for sure leave the 4060 Ti to the gamers who frankly shouldn't be buying it as well. I'm going to call this one a dud and frankly unless it's MSRP goes down to like $200 which you know from Nvidia's past history that it won't. I can say that we're going to lump this one in with Turing GPUs and the 1660 Supers as GPUs that you do not want to own for buying. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have a 30 or a 4060 Ti, go take that thing back right now. You'll thank me later. Hootman, out.